This is the stationary part of the turret and now we need to attach the part that spins. But bearings of this size are super expensive. So I've got an idea. It's not the smoothest bearing ever, but I think this will do. Now, before we bolt down this permanently to the tank, we need to attach a few things to it first. Once we are done spinning the turret all around, we need a way to make it come back to the center. And that's where this ramp in here comes in handy. This in here is an stop with a wheel that will hit the ramp whenever the turret is centered. Next, the motor. I want all the controls on the tank to be wired, and although there is going to be two sets of batteries on the tank, one for the drive motors and one for the turret, I will still need to pass wires from the tank to the turret. But the turret is going to be spinning, and I want to be able to spin it as much as I want. So I got this. This thing in here allows you to spin the wires as much as you want without them getting tangled. And as this is going to pass through the center of the turret, I'm going to need an axial bearing like the one in the tank, but this one's made of metal and everything, to allow me to pass the wires through the center of the turret. So let's see how all this goes together. The wires pass through the turret and the belt is tension. So, next. The perimeter of the base is complete, so now it's time for some electronics. But before we do that, a quick ad from today's video sponsor. PCBWay offers affordable, high-quality CNC machining, 3D printing and PCB assembly services with fast turnaround time. PCBWay is the one-stop solution for all your project needs, 
as they offer all kinds of services, 3D printing, CNC machining, injection molding, or sheet metal fabrication. Their CNC machining service, in particular, has pretty advanced custom mobility, with plenty of materials to choose from and specifications to fine-tune your product to exactly match your design. They are also currently offering 10% of some of their 3D printing and CNC machining services and 5% of purchases for new customers. For more information, check the link in the description. And now let's do some wiring because wiring is super pop. Now that everything that we need is connected, it's time to write some code and see if it moves. I can more or less make it move from one side to the other, but I want this thing to move fast because huge spinning things are always more fun. As I don't want the turret to rip off the USB cable and break my computer, I'm accessing this computer from this computer to send the commands to the turret to see how fast can we go. This is more or less the length of the cannon that I'm going to install on this turret and I need to know if the leverage of such a long weight affects the speed of the turret, so I will give it a go. Of course, this is not how it's gonna be controlling the end. I will have control celebrity. <laughs> and a little bit more speed. And I still have a little bit of acceleration left. Let's see. That's a turret that can move a cannon. Don't forget to subscribe because in the next video I will be changing this for a working cannon. Thanks out to all my patrons and members because this is really fun. Thank you. Don't forget to check the link to the Discord channel in the description. And now please go and make something!